Hello and welcome to the 2021-22 Heart of America Athletic Conference Men's Wrestling Media Days. I'm your host, Ross Peterson. I'm the host of the Sports Fanatics here in Des Moines, Iowa on 106.3 KXNO, joined this afternoon by Central Methodist Head Wrestling Coach, Terrell Wilborn. Coach, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Good to see you as well. I'm doing doing fine over here. Great to be on here. Getting ready to get the season started here in the uh, in the next couple of hours, actually. But let's go back just a little bit. You've had a pretty unique opportunity. Uh, like a couple of the coaches you face off with uh, this year, you've had a chance to actually start a program. Let's go back just a couple of years and uh, and talk about uh, what you've seen in these first couple of, of years with your program. Well, that's a great question. Uh, uh, you know, uh, what I've seen building a program from scratch is um, – you know, everybody's different. You know, everybody has, has their story. And um, to me, you know, it, it's, it's, this is definitely the most challenging but rewarding, um, you know, thing that, that I've done currently in my life. Um, so to me, it's almost about finding the right puzzles, right? It's a big puzzle and you got to find the right pieces to the puzzle. So, uh, but it's been fun. It's been fun to say the least. Seems like you've done a good job of finding those pieces. Honestly, coach, three years in, you're already receiving some votes in the NAIA preseason polls. What are your expectations for this season? Expectations, you know, and it's, it's to, um, you know, to have a, to be a team recognized as having a good attitude, you know, win, win or lose, um, you know, as far as my, my background, you know, I'm, I'm very open with the guys very, it's a transparent relationship. And the expectation is just to wrestle your hardest and, uh, you know, try to be the best man you can be on and off the mat. Um, and year three, you know, um, it's going to be, it's going to be fun to see where, where, how far we've progressed. Coach, who, uh, what are some of your team goals for this season? Team goals. Great question. You know, we, um, we're priding ourselves a lot on our academics right now. A um, little background, you know, team goals are academics, wrestling, you know, wrestling hard on the mat, and then just surrounding yourself with the right people. Um, so our goals, like I said, it's just to, you know, do it the right way, whether that's just going to class every day, you know, having our attendance at, at 100% or it's, it's close, right? It's, it's to excel um, to be the very best that we can be in those three areas, right? In the classroom, on the mat, and then our social life. Tell us about some of your returning wrestlers from last year's team. So we have, you know, we have, um, we'll start, we'll start with the big man, our first ever national qualifier, Brendan Shelton. Um, he came back, you know, he had a good summer, a good preparation. Um, and we'll go, we'll go from heavy to low. So we got, we have Brendan Shelton, he'll be, he'll be a junior. And then we're going into Trevor Bodine, you know, our, our very own local Centralia boy. He'll be a sophomore. He was a national, uh, he was nationally ranked last year. Um, he's coming back, you know, and, uh, you know, he's very hungry. He's very hungry to see, uh, see where he stacks up this year. And then, you know, th- those are our guys that have really made, um, you know, some noise last year nationally. Uh, we got, we got a big group, uh, a whole bunch of new guys that, you know, we're just trying to make sure that, that they're uh, meshing well with what we're trying to create here. Um, but as far as far as the returners, those are two big guys. Do you have a couple of those new guys that you think are going to be fighting for spots? Yeah, so we have Colton King at 125. Um, you know, you know, Ross, these are great questions because you know I I like to see results, right? Yeah. So we're about to kick we're about to kick off the competition season. And I really, you know, I really don't know how things are gonna stack up. The big thing is just working together, right? We have a Missouri Baptist tomorrow night, and then we have three weekends of open tournaments, you know, Maryville, Maryville the 6th. We'll go to Grandview Open the 13th, and then we'll head to the Lindenwood Open the 20th. And that right there is really, you know, those are going to be some tough tournaments, and it's going to be a tournament. Those are going to be tournaments tournaments that we're going to have to work together. Um, So I try not to put too much emphasis on, on, you know, who's going to be the starter or who's going to, you know, make the most noise this year, because at the end of the day, we're all trying to work together, you know, and, uh, you know, slow and steady. 
you wrestled at Lindenwood. You had a pretty good yes. career at Lindenwood, man. You're three-time All-American. I'm, I'm just assuming that lesson that you just kind of taught me there, that's something that you learned from your wrestling days, right? Like uh, you, want, you want it to be proven on the mat. What, uh, what other lessons have you taken from your time as a wrestler, that successful career, uh, and, and, and applied to these first couple of years as a head coach? Um, great question. Uh, great question, Ross. And, you know, uh, humility is big, right? Um, always knowing that that um, you could be doing more or someone else out there is doing more. So, you know, you got to play both ends of it. <clears throat> but, yes, humility is big. And I've been on a lot of great championship teams, um, great cultures. I've also seen a lot. You know, I'm an observer. I've also seen the powerhouses all across the country. Growing up in high, you know, in high school, you got the Blair Academies, um, you know. So I've always studied those powerhouse programs, and it always looked like that they didn't focus too much on themselves, right? It was always something bigger. It was always about the next man, um, and that's you know, going into this third year, we really want to focus on that. And uh, you know, who cares what goes on, you know, within within our own walls, right? We're here for uh, we're here for each other, and we have got to continue to work together. Coach Wilborn, I've really enjoyed uh, getting to meet you. I'm gonna, uh, I'll make sure I come say hi. I'll, I'm sure I'll see you at a couple meetings. Okay, or a couple Absolutely. tournaments. Thanks a lot Absolutely. for giving us time, Coach Wilborn. Yeah, from, uh, yeah, we've enjoyed this. Really appreciate your time today, and good luck this season, Coach Wilborn. Appreciate it. Thank you.